Hello, all of you beautiful people. We have another blog post video for you guys. Also, don't forget to become part of the community and get future updates by joining our Discord. The link will be in the description below. In today's video, we'll be discussing all of the new ambient sounds and effects to different blocks that the Hytale team showed off in their newly released January Progress Update blog post. Before we start, we must tell you that there are a lot of beautiful sound effects in this video, so make sure you are comfortable and wearing your headphones for this one. Without any further delays, I'm Natsu, and let's get right into the video. It's been a month of anticipation for a new blog post, and boy, did the Hytale team give us some great information. The team starts the blog post by saying, Hi everyone, in this post, we're going to be rounding up a selection of development activity that has been taking place since the team returned from their holiday break. We'll take a look at some experimental new rendering techniques, take a deep dive into Hytale's upgraded atmospheric audio systems, and revisit farming to show the progress that we've been making there. It's been a busy month for us all as we gear up for an important and exciting year in the life of Hytale. As we outlined in November's development update, the success of the original announcement has allowed us to become more ambitious with every aspect of this project. And over the last year, we spent a lot of time determining the best way to move forward for both Hytale and the team. Now is the time for us to start putting those plans into action, and we look forward to sharing the results with you. Right now, however, it's time to take a look at some of those cool new rendering effects. The first topic they discuss contains information about the new ice effects. As you can see with the image provided, the ice seems to be nearly transparent, with a blue tint to it. It's also finished off with a glossy texture, making it look like real ice. This is what the Hytale team had to say. We're continuing to expand the capabilities of Hytale's engine with new features and effects. This month, we started testing new rendering tech for ice blocks. This is particularly effective in the wintry climbs of Zone 3, adding a greater sense of depth to the areas where spires of ice emerge from frigid lands, and frozen over cave entrances promise new opportunities to explore. Wow, I don't know about you guys, but this is really exciting to hear. The team continues the blog post with the following. This feature is still very much in the development stage, and as with everything we share in these progress updates, it is likely to continue to evolve as work continues. In this case, the team is in the progress of ensuring this new rendering works properly when combined with blocks of all kinds. You can find out more about the improvements we're making to Hytale's engine in November's graphics update post. From this image, we can see that there are reflections of the tree's shadows on the ice and how it all creates this nice scenery of the wintry climate of Zone 3. After giving us information about the ice effects that they've added, the Hytale team then begins to talk about the ambient sound improvements that they've implemented into the game. They start off with the following. Sound designer Kieran Fitzpatrick, whose work on Creature Audio we featured last year, has been hard at work with some extensive improvements to Hytale's ambient sound system. You'll want to turn up your volume for the rest of the clips in this post. If you've got headphones, now's the time to use them. Here is the clip of the ambient water noises that the Hytale team was talking about. I'd say this is my favorite part of the blog post so far, as these clips will really show us how the weather effects work in Hytale. In regards to the clip you just witnessed and heard, the Hytale team said, In this clip, you can hear both the sound of the weather outside and the noises produced by the player character change as they step from the rainy moorland to the interior of a gloomy tower. These effects are achieved dynamically by taking advantage of ambient zones effectively. A set of rules for adjusting audio properties that can be customized based on factors like weather, time of day, the number of walls, and more. The Hytale team then continues to show off the clip above ground, where you can hear creatures like birds and cicada singing, as well as the wind blowing. Afterwards, you're then taken underneath the water into this swampy land, and everything goes quiet. Take a listen. Absolutely wonderful. While watching this clip, it really sounds like you're taking a dip into a calm, swampy river. The team followed this clip with, Ambient zones can be layered on top of one another in an additive fashion. 
In this case, the wind, bird songs, and the cicadas are all separate ambient zones that merge according to the situation. The system takes into account the ratio of specific blocks in an area around the player. So an area with lots of tree blocks is more likely to be accompanied by the sound of wind in the leaves and branches creaking in the breeze. Ambient zones can also affect one another. For example, a weather event like a storm will cause the birds to go quiet as they've flown off to take shelter. When the player dives into the water, the ambience changes again. Underwater audio is based on fluid type. Fluids of different viscosity can create different effects, so swimming in water will sound different than swimming in lava. Um, we don't recommend swimming in lava, by the way. The Hytale team then takes us even deeper than the swampy lake, as in this clip we're going to be dropping down into a deep cave with tons of echoes. <laughs> There are a lot of things to point out about this clip, but first, let's take a look at the team's comment towards the effects used. This clip illustrates the transition from an outdoor area to the echoing ambience of a deep underground cavern. In addition, the player encounters a number of sound-emitting environmental features. You can hear torches burning and the sound of rocks crumbling deeper into the cave. In the next clip, we're going to hear how the same techniques are used to create the creepy, foreboding atmosphere of a Skerrick nest. Now at the beginning of this clip, when the player is still walking around above ground, we can see some sort of house or tower behind the hill right in front of the player. We can also take note of the lighting effects that takes place. Even though it seems to be behind the clouds, it still gives off a source of light to the land. When the player drops down into the cave, the first thing we notice are three main types of blocks in the cave. Stone, snow, and some grass looking block that we've only seen in zone 3 before. We can also hear that when the player walks over the grass block, it makes a dirt sound, just as the dirt blocks did on the surface level. After this, the player looks into a cave opening where you can see some colorful effects. The blue mushrooms give off a blue tint on the stone and snow blocks in the background of this scene. Now we're off to the Skerrick's nest that the team mentioned. Make sure you take a good listen, because this is what you end up encountering in the game. The Hytale team follows this clip with, This demonstrates how ambient zones and emitter sounds can be combined to give an area a specific audio identity. The distant howling wind combines with the eerie squelking of Skerrick eggs and reverberating underground ambience to create the sense that this is somewhere that you probably don't want to stick around in. As we can see when the clip starts, it's located in a very gloomy area with many blocks that we've not seen before. You can then hear all of the eggs that hold the baby Skerricks screeching. This could mean that they're going to be ready to hatch soon. Take it from us, we do not recommend that you stay in this area for too long. As the player continues to walk into the cave, we see many different bone fragments and skulls scattered throughout the cave. Even if you're not wearing headphones, you'll be able to understand that this is not a place you would want to hang around in. We can also hear a loud echo which seems to go on forever, meaning that this could be a much bigger cave than you could originally imagine. Lastly, you could also hear the faint wind noises that whistle throughout the cave, just adding that gloomy and definitely creepy effect. But just in case you weren't frightened yet, here's the next clip that the Hytale team provided us with the caption. Of course, we have other ways to let the players know that they've wandered into the wrong cavern. There isn't too much to take away from this, other than the scorching hot lava that is pouring throughout the cavern and the enormous monster that the player encounters while walking through the cave. We also notice some green light towards the top of the clip when the monster begins to prepare for attacking the player. Is that just the exit for the cave or something else? Let us know what you think in the comments below. The last progress clip the Hytale team treats us with has to do with farming. This is what the team had to say. Farming is an area of Hytale that is currently deep in development. 
Recently, we've been adding new crop types and incorporating new assets to illustrate their growth from seedlings to ripe, harvestable produce. To illustrate this, here's a time-lapse video showing a small batch of crops developing over the course of several in-game days. The farming looks really lovely. We notice a watering can on top of some sort of wagon. However, the watering can is not used throughout the clip, and the plants still grow at a default rate. We assume that you'll be able to grow crops regardless if there's any water being frequently poured on the soil, but watering can speed up the process just as bone meal does in Minecraft. We also notice how each crop has its own unique growing process, whether it's to do with the plant changing colors or even how it grows. Nevertheless, the farming system looks magnificent. The team comments on this with, Of course, crops don't thrive without help. Properly tiled ground and water is essential for ensuring that you receive a bumpier harvest and a little fertilizer wouldn't hurt. We've recently added some important new models and effects to the game, along with new AI behaviors that allow Hytale's various creatures to contribute to your farm in their own special way. Animals can poop now. Now, I know what you're thinking. Animals can poop in Hytale? Yes, you heard that right. With the image that the team provides us, you cannot miss the cow dung. It is also clearly releasing a particular smell to attract the small bugs flying all over it. We can also see the player has a sack that collects the poop to use for various different things in the Hytale world, most likely fertilizer. The Hytale team concludes this blog post by saying, Thanks for reading our latest blog post update. You can expect our next blog post in February. In the meantime, keep an eye on our official Twitter feed over the coming days. This blog post isn't the only place you can see some new Hytale material this month. We can't wait for the exciting new possible images or teasers coming from Hytale in the coming days. We are also eager to continue to see further Hytale information, and according to the Hytale team, February will contain the next blog post. That wraps up our video on the January progress update. So in today's video, we analyzed the new effects that Ice has, we watched the ambient sound clips, and we went into detail on what you might encounter while hearing some of those sounds. After that, we learned how farming progress would be featured, with some crops growing throughout the numerous in-game days. Lastly, we know that there's animal dung in Hytale. I'd say it's been a great month for Hytalers all around. Before we end the video, remember to join our Discord. Here, we host monthly events, have community discussions, and much, much more. Come and join the most significant place for all things Hytale. Remember to subscribe and follow us on Twitter. That's all folks, my name is Natsu Fire from Hytale News, and we'll see you all soon for another Hytale News video. Bye bye and uh, catch you later.